first hand reaction. Matt has not seen these in person. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Ooh, hello. <laughs> oh, they're quite big. <laughs> Those are so cool. <laughs> what have we done? Kia ora guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel and another episode working on Hundy. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, we've got new tyres for it. It's super exciting, terrible decision, but uh, also very cool. Um, so I was scrolling Trade Me, as you do, and um, saw a set of Maxxis mud traps for sale. For those of you who don't know, mud traps are a, they're a trepidor, um, but they're quite a lot different to a standard trepidor. They're designed for the Rainforest Challenge over in Malaysia. Um, so we've got one here, as you can see I've got it up next to uh, this 35 which is a standard um, comp trip. So you can see um, we've got a lot bigger tread um, spacing, uh, much bigger voids. Um, so that's just to help them uh, clear the mud a lot more efficiently. Um, a lot smaller um, blocks themselves, so a much, uh, much bigger ratio of void to uh, contact patch. Um, they're also a different compound. They're harder than a sticky trap, but softer than a um, hard compound um, trap. So these are hard compounds. Um, so that one's softer, but they, yeah, they're still harder than a sticky trap. So they're not going to chew up real bad, um, but they should still work okay on the rocks. Um, and then yeah, obviously they're just a whole bunch taller. These are 38 and a halfs. Um, these are a 35. So quite a big change in uh, height. So, making them fit on a disco is going to be a big challenge, um, but we're up for, the, up for it. Uh, we got a really good price on them, um, they've been probably used once by the look of them. They've still got really nice sharp edges, which is what you want in a mud tyre. I'm not usually a fan of uh, purchasing second hand tyres, but these are such a good price. Couldn't say no, and uh, they also came on a set of uh, 16 inch beadlock wheels. Um, they're a nice beadlock made by Dynamic. Um, it's really nice to purchase a wheel that's um, made a beadlock from the factory rather than um, one that's been done aftermarket or like a weld on job. Um, they tend to be a lot lighter. Um, but yeah, as you can see, they're just a huge tyre. Like, you'd never believe that that's a 16. Um, but it is. So yeah, very cool tyres. Very excited. Never thought I'd own in a set. But um, yeah, having them on the disco can't go wrong. I got the fire. I got the Clearance for days. Not. That is going to take some convincing to make him fit. Anyway, uh, before we slap the last one on, I reckon we'll drag one of the CSTs over. I've still got them on loan from Craig. I really need to drop them back, but uh, we'll roll one over and we'll see just how big the uh, height difference is. Is uh, a wee comparison. Oh, yep, that's uh, just a small difference. I can foresee no issues that will arise because of this. Alrighty guys, well, all the mud traps are on, truck looks awesome. Anyway, we're going to try and make some progress today. The goal for the end of the day is to get this thing rolled out of the shed. Um, so we've got a bit of work to be done before then. We're going to be having it sit on the bump stops, so we need to get these bump stops welded in properly. However, possibly need to re remake that tube. Um, let's have a look underneath now, actually. I think this is quite a decent sized gap in that notch, which I don't really not really happy with so might have to remake that um, we also want to get all these tubes pretty much everything in the back finish welded but to do that we need to put some diagonals in here first which you can't do once these upper tubes are welded in so gotta make those another one of that weld it all out and uh, yeah then we should be able to take it off the axle stands and roll it out so that's what we're gonna crack into
Right, so we've got the uh, axle out, we've pulled off all the tubes that need to be removed so that we can get access to things for welding and for doing those last couple diagonals I mentioned. So, truck's looking real stripped down, back to being a hovercraft. Um, so yeah, next step is to crack into some uh, finished welding. So yeah, time to see if I can uh, still remember how to do some half decent welds. Fingers crossed. So I've just been cranking out a wee bit of uh, finish welding on the cage. Matt's popped out to grab some lunch, but uh, as you can see, we've got these uh, all welded in there and over there, and then also over there. Let's see if it focuses over there. Oh, that needs a bit more work actually. And over, and I uh, got this one done as well. That one came out real nice. So I'm super pleased with that. I've just been uh, cranking out one of these uh, diagonal bars that I forgot to mention was actually the next step. Um, these diagonals here. And I tell you what, as terrifying and brutal as those tube notches are, they uh, absolutely make light work of the job so much faster. Don't know why I didn't get one ages ago, but as you can see, no maths involved. That was just a quick, quick guess and a bit of an eyeball. And that's come up looking a real treat, so I'm really, really, really pleased with that, to be honest. Um, obviously, we've got to drop it down a little bit um, so that that end drops down just a little bit further. But yeah, that is a pretty decent notch. Right, guys, well, it's probably been an hour or so since I last picked up the camera, um, so it's about 3.30 now, and we're just running out of time for what we wanted to get done today, so um, we do need to get the truck out of the shed, so plans are changing. Basically, um, the notch was going great until uh, all the teeth came off. So I just need to buy some uh, better suited hole saws for the job. Um, not cheap ones, so that's all good. I will sort those at some stage. But yeah, bit of a pain because it grabbed real bad when it lost all its teeth and jammed and all oh, far out. <laughs> jammed and flicked my wrist up and smacked it into the drill press table. So it was just a wonderful time. Um, so yeah, I went inside and cooled off for a little bit because I was a little frustrated. But um, also frustrated about the fact that I seem to be struggling with working the notches out. I don't know what the difference is between doing the notches by hand and doing the notches with a notcher. But doing them by hand, like I've got, well obviously pretty much all sorted. But then I go to do it with the notch and I like coming up short, like you can see here, like this way off. and. I don't know, it's really, really, really frustrating when I know I could do it by hand. But um, yeah, if we've not got time to do it by hand and we need to get this truck out of here. So what we're going to do is roll the back axle back under, um, slap some blocks of wood under the um, lower control arms, the, and um, yeah, basically chock it, chuck the wheels back on and roll the thing out of here. So um, yeah, we'll crack into that and leave this for another day. As you can see, we've got uh, the truck back on the ground. Just slapped some blocks of wood between the, uh, I guess, the chassis rails and the uh, axle. So it's sitting a lot lower. Um, but yeah, looks real cool. So next step is to roll it out and uh, take a look at uh, our creation. <laughs> The truck is uh, out of the shed finally. It's been a couple months, but uh, it's good to see it out. Not quite in the uh, state we we're hoping to have it um, out in, but it's uh, it is what it is. Um, anyway, I guess before we get in cracking into some Q and A questions, which uh, we promised you in the last uh, last Hyundai video, um, just quickly touching base on what's going to be happening with this thing. Um, 
Unfortunately, the Winch Challenge series was cut from three South Island rounds down to two, um, and that combined with a couple of other factors, um, budget and other things, we are putting a little bit of a hold on this, um, which is a bit of a shame. Yeah, because we've uh, been, obviously as you guys know, we've been putting out videos on this relatively regularly since Christmas essentially. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're probably going to be parking it in the corner of the shed for a few months. Um, just other things going on, trying to get back out in, um, in Lando, trying to do some four, actual four wheel driving again. Uh, we just simply don't have the time to be working on Hundy anymore right now. Yeah. So you probably won't see a lot of it on the channel for the next next few videos, but it will be coming back at some point. And we won't be leaving it for a whole year like we did last <laughs> time. <laughs> I'm, itch I'm itching to get this thing out, eh? Like, it looks so cool on the new mud traps. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a bummer that it's having to uh, be set aside, but uh, as Matt said, we've got bigger and better things to focus our time on. And uh, yeah, we just want to get away and uh, do some actual adventures. So you'll be seeing that come up shortly. Anyway, before we wrap this up, the ask and Q&A questions which we got on um, our Instagram. Um, so I'll start, Anomaly Off-Road said how important to you is keeping weight low on an off-road rig. Um, very. I feel like a lot of people overbuild their trucks like too much bar work and um, yeah, just don't keep weight in mind. Um, as you guys know, we've been very weight conscious with uh, with this truck while still trying to keep it strong, but trying to use a you know thin wall tube where it's not going to be particularly load bearing and things like that, and yeah, just cutting out every last bit of uh, excess um, because yeah, there's just no point hauling extra weight around. Um, it's one of the best things you can do to uh, increase your rig's performance, like on or off road, to be honest. Yep, and then in addition to that, as well as keeping weight sort of weight total low. Um, in a more physical sense, we're also trying to keep the weight like physically low in the truck um, just to keep that center of gravity down. So any of the heavier items that we can move uh, low in the truck, we are also trying to do that as well. I didn't read it like that, but that's probably what he meant, wasn't it? <laughs> that's right. Either works. So <laughs> there you go. Yeah. You've got two answers. Um, Pritchard Lucas asks, what's the plans for the motor? Um... Currently, our plans are keeping it stock. Um, essentially, it's a really healthy um, Rover V8. As I mean, as healthy as any Rover V8 gets. Yeah. Um, so yeah, the motor runs perfectly fine. At this stage, we don't have any plans for um, tuning it up or doing silly things like putting boost through it. Yeah. Uh, currently, we just want to keep it running and reliable. Um, next question comes from Liam Hoffman. Um, he says, are you going to put coilovers or upgrade the front suspension as well? Yes, we're going to upgrade the front suspension. No, we're not doing coilovers. Um, well, not anytime soon. Next round of mods will be front suspension and, uh, yeah, just getting it dialed in with some nice adjustable shocks. Um, probably the same sort of setup that we've got in the back of Lando slap on the front. Um, I mean, it works really well. Um, so, yeah, there's no point going and trying to fix something that's not broken. Nox Vigari asks, are we building it for competitions or as a play toy? <laughs> um, we started out originally building it as just a play toy bush truck. And uh, then, like Tim said a few videos ago, after filming the Winch Challenge season last year, he decided to uh, that we were going to build it into a comp truck. Yep. And that is still the plan to some degree. Just, bit of both. Yeah. Bit of both. Um, yeah. NZ Patrol says, when's the wiring getting a birthday, um, and what's the target overall weight? Um, the wiring is an absolute shambles, and I don't know, pro <laughs> probably once it's running, then we'll address it. As for the target weight, I had in mind 1,800 kilos. Um, whether that is still achievable with these tyres and the new axle that we've got to go on the front and things like that. Might push it a little bit past that, but 1800 would be uh, would be wonderful. Um, and then eboy117 asks, how much droop are you hoping to get out of it, and what's the plan for the front suspension? Front suspension, um, stock, but with nice uh, shocks, as mentioned before. And how much droop? I'm aiming to try and get um, about like five to six inches of up travel in the back, and um, the same in down travel, and then up front like. Four or five of up travel in the front would be good, and you know about the same 
um, and down travel. So um, reasonably balanced, trying to aim for about 50-50. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of the plan. Cole Doohan 8 asks, are we going to put tube frame and bar work up front? Um, yes, to an extent. Uh, obviously having put these tyres on, as you'll be able to see, the tyres are nowhere close to clearing on the front arches, so some major changes are going to have to happen. Um, but in terms of tube framing the front of the chassis, it's probably not going to yep. happen. We've it, learned from our last. <laughs> yeah, we've yeah. learned from the back half. Like, <laughs> having done it, I would not do it again uh, yeah. in terms of tube framing the rear. Much so regrets. The chassis is probably going to stay um, stay as a factory chassis for the f far into the foreseeable future. Mini Max Caddy says, "I love how you weld in your slides. I do. You shouldn't. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. Wear some work boots. Burning through your socks is not fun. Melting your socks is not fun." Um, just wear boots. I, I really should. Really should. Um, Matthew Brew, who's that, <laughs> asks, why are we doing this to ourselves? Wonderful question. <laughs> I don't know. Right, that Zook dude asks about our winch setup. So, what we're probably going to be doing is running a Nova winch and probably putting 24 volts through it just to uh, up it a wee bit. Um, we're also thinking about doing something regarding a rear winch, whether that's the, mid uh, the Nova winch mid-mounted, so it can pull forwards and back, or a second winch just to pull out the back. Uh, we don't know yet, but uh, yes, there will be at least one winch. Um, oh, <laughs> Navara Life, how much have you spent on Hundy so far? <laughs> that's, a, that's a rude question, because uh, I've not added it up. Um, if I had to take a guess, including all the parts that are still waiting to go on. Far out. It's a really good question. I... Do you need, it doesn't... Do you need a minute, mate? Yeah, I... Yeah. <laughs> I'll it. pop it on the screen here. <laughs> um, that way I don't have to think about it right now. And final question from Flynn Coskery. He says, 40s. Uh, no... 38 and a halves are more than enough for this rig. Anyway, with that, um, this will wrap up this video and probably, you know, the next couple months worth of work on it. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and all the work done on it. Um, the videos haven't done amazingly, but um, of those of you who have watched it, um, we've had really good feedback, so it's really appreciated. Um, but yeah, as I say, this, uh, this is being set aside for some bigger and better things, believe it or not. Um, so I hope you guys are all really uh, looking forward to it. Obviously, we can't say exactly what, but uh, make sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already to stay tuned for all of that. Um, give us a like on today's video and uh, let us know what you think of the build. What do you think of the uh, mud traps? I think they're ridiculous and I think they're awesome. Anyway, that's it for another video. Thank you all very much for watching. We'll catch you all in the next one. Cheers, guys. We'll see you then.